What's up, YouTube? Today we are re-looking at this piece, and I will tell you why. This is a Fontenelle Batad Latier's knife. I missed a couple Fontenelle Batades on eBay last week or the week before. It's all good, though. I'm sure somebody got them that will... Love them just as much as me. First, first and foremost, the beauty of this piece, I feel like, is off the charts. Really well done. As far as what we consider gapping, there is some right up here. Uh, however, I'm not sure you can see it, obviously. I'm not sure that's really a detractor from the piece. The reason I'm remaking or making another video is this um, this piece has some of the hallmarks of what A.G. Russell did with his knives and that is to say super easy to open you can open it one-handed like this um, this locking mechanism is actually also super easy to use you just press that but beyond that you can wave it out like an A.G. Russell piece meaning you make a circular motion, you're like pushing down like this, and then you kind of swing it up like that, and it'll swing out and lock. I actually put the tip of this up to about there into my leg, because I had had a couple of drinks and I was swinging this around, and I came down too hard <laughs> and got myself. But uh, those are just, uh, I mean, it's, I feel like, and people will ask, well, what is the utility of this being really easy to open, this is gonna allow everybody that uses this knife to open it. You don't need fingernails. Uh, people, old people, their nails are very brittle. Um, they're gonna have trouble with a, a knife with a stiff spring opening with their fingernails. This comes right open and locks. And if you had to, I wouldn't, you know, quote unquote, wave it open one-handed every single time. But if you needed to, in a pinch, you could throw this down. I'm, I'm holding the camera because I'm at a park, so I'm trying to I'm trying to do two things at once. But uh, yeah, this thing is just a really, really solid piece. The lines on it are amazing, and uh, it's funny that. I would normally say, well, A.G. Russell was taking inspiration for Fontenelle Batat, but as I've, I think I pointed out uh, on this channel with the community tab, Fontenelle Batat is at the moment, as far as their scales go, handle scales, handle covers, is kind of biting Jack Wolf knives. So it makes me wonder, it's kind of like the old spaghetti western uh, question of, you know, did we copy the Japanese or were the Japanese copying us or were we copying the Japanese who were copying us? But yeah, this is a sick piece. Comes with a nice leather sheath, which I treated with, uh, I forget the name of that stuff. It's like the beeswax stuff from Idaho, I think. But yeah, very cool, very awesome, and uh, yeah. So thank you for sticking with me to the end. That's about all she wrote for this one. And I hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Bye now.